pieces. She's versatile. She's in the know. She's Beverly Pink Eye. Hello and welcome to the first edition of Beverly Pink Eye Witness News. So, most of what you'll be seeing is me, Beverly Pink Eye, and I'll either be reviewing movies or songs or just talking about general news. Today, I have a very serious topic. The Leah story by Lifetime and that other lady, Wendy Williams. It's not great. So first I'd like to open with a quote from Jezebel.com saying, The movie was predestined to be bad. The good news is that it executes those expectations flawlessly. I'll move on to another quote. From Yahoo.com under Yahoo TV, they said, Aaliyah, the princess of R&B in a nutshell, is, despite a handful of great performances, small screen drama that is forgettable, over-publicized, and a splash in a pan unworthy of a woman, it earnestly but clumsily attempts to honor. What a shame. Now I'd like to move on to social media and see what the world is saying, because this is worldly news and local news, and this is Beverly Pink Eye Witness News. So, without further wait, I'd like to have my co-host, special guest, Fame Black of Fame Black TV, weigh in. Fame Black. <clears throat> ah, what's, what's going on? How are you? I'm, uh, I'm doing well. That's great. What did we, uh, what did you Could you me? open your laptop so that we can discuss the so social media portion? What, what, uh, what, are we, what are we talking about? What are we social media about? Aaliyah, the princess of R&B Lifetime movie. Oh, the movie, right. Let's talk about the first issue, the actors or tresses. Actor tresses. This is R. Kelly's character. This is... Uh, so you see him here. <laughs> this is with Clay Bennett. Clay Bennett. Clee. Clee. C-L-E. All right. Mr. Bennett. What about Mr. Bennett? Um, this, he's the guy playing R. Kelly in this. Um, he's about seven shades darker. Seven shades darker. Than R. Kelly. That's I mean. a problem. I mean, I feel like that's an issue. You want to get the skin color right, at least, to portray someone. I mean, like, let's go back to Jennifer Lopez and her Selena portrayal. They made sure, down to the accent and the words spoken in another language, that it was on... Pa. I think the difference is um, Selena was a real movie. That too. But uh, this guy, he kind of looks like Joe, if you remember Joe in the movie. Well, he looks like Joe in general, but in the movie, he's bald like R. Kelly was at that time. And he, he looks a lot like Joe. I think he does not look like R. Kelly. I think that man who portrayed R. Kelly on Mad TV looks more like R. Kelly. He even says in the video, I am R. Kelly. This is the Timberland. Uh, wow. Yeah, see, they got the shot here. So let me just say, I already knew. I just said wow for dramatic effect. But this Timberland is quite bright. Now let's, let's argue for, you know, all purposes, that Timberland could very well be this bright in the wintertime or the fall, but I highly, brightly doubt it. Your thoughts? Uh, the muscle definition for one, but if you say the Timberland wasn't built at that time, Timberland was pretty fat. That guy is not. Okay, so we've noted that during the time frame for which these actors and tresses are portraying the real people, that their body type has not proven to be accurate so far, nor their color of skin. And next we have Missy Elliott, right here. This is the real her. Now let's look at the other her, the actress that portrayed her in the movie. Her. 
I that was pretty cool how you how it just appeared out of thin air there. I feel as though this woman Again, another ten shades lighter. Quite bright. <clears throat> Is she a red bone? White bone? Yellow bone? Head bones connected to the neck. I bone? wouldn't call her a red bone, but okay. she she's pretty close. It could be the lighting of the photo. Um Yes, so even if this were that time, I remember Missy Elliott being significantly plumper. Right, she, this girl wouldn't make a good Missy Elliott with Missy Elliott weighing the same amount. Yeah, I, I don't feel that, you know, you argued earlier that the difference between accuracy was that it was small screen versus large screen, but this is just preposterous. This it was a low budget casting in a hotel that they had to find somebody that day. Not to throw, is it cover, sun protection, shade? Shade. Not to uh, project sun protection on anyone, but um, I don't think this was very well done. Using the quotes from earlier, we know that it's not very well done this was one of my favorite uh comments on twitter oh you know, all right we haven't felt this betrayed by tv since they replaced aunt viv with the ten shades lighter aunt viv oh right the switcheroo as if no one would notice you can say okay. it. okay this movie is <laughs> let me know let let me know when she's at the airport oh that's that's it's a bit of a dark joke. It's it that's um But you couldn't make that movie without that part. True. I think in all biopics though of people that died, you wanna see how they're going to finish them off. Michael Max, uh JFK. Those are good. We should movies. probably stick to movies about artists who sing. You know, that brings me to another point. Mm. It's very hard to watch a biopic about a singer that you love without music. Oh man. So Wendy Williams did not get the rights to any of Aaliyah's music. And I believe that my uh, sources say that it has a lot to do with the fact that the family did not want this production to go forth. Hey, how much of a do you have to be where your family, the family's like, well, we'd rather you didn't make this movie. Uh, just go ahead and do it anyway, because I'm Wendy Williams. So, <laughs> pardon my cough, I am sick. The tweets about the Aaliyah movie are better than the actual movie. Oh wow, it's, that's pretty bad. That means that the words formulated by the watchers is more entertaining than the words formulated by the writers who were paid to create this movie. Continue. And this Aaliyah movie needs to dust itself off and try again. They can dust it, I don't think they should be trying again. Not unless you capture the rights of those musics. Musics? Mm hmm. Musics. Multiple songs. <laughs> Let's move on to the next. <laughs> okay, this is a good rant. This is a good rant. Okay. This movie is not what I thought it would be. These characters do not resemble any of the true professionals she worked with. We made that point. Sorry. Missy Elliott? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. R. Kelly reminded me of Tupac. Damn Dash, really? I think they meant to say Dame. They so far left out her best songs, her best movie, Queen of the Damned. I'm guessing at the end of the movie she does not die in a plane. They probably used a Toyota. This movie seems so off. Disappointed. Well, and I feel like the the response is overwhelming. Um, my my thoughts on this entirely, you know, with the skin tone issues, and you know the fact that clearly. They wanted us to know that at some point in time in her life, Missy Elliott may have bleached her skin. It's all alleged. I don't know. But I'm guessing that was a situation. And um, I'm not sure what they were trying to do. I mean, after not watching this film, I feel like I watched something that's horrible and poorly, poorly portrayed. And if I had to not watch it again, I would. And um, Wait, hold on, Beverly. You, you didn't... See this movie that you're reviewing? I don't watch movies. <laughs> so, uh, final thoughts from you? 
Um, it seems pretty bad. I think you should make a, a biopic about a singer if you don't have any of the singer's music. Because how, how are you going to do that? The best part of a biopic, my opinion. Is it, is it that? Biopic. I thought it was a biopic. I think that's a matter of tomato, tomato. You're from across the pond, so I think it's fine. Continue. We're running out of time. Quickly. <laughs> I think that, um... Thank you for your time. <laughs> so... Your thoughts and comments in the comment section, please. On our next, excuse me, <clears throat> I had a cough. On my next episode, you can go now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Right. Quickly. Right. Okay. okay. Right. <laughs> On the next Beverly Pink Eye Witness News, we will be discussing Ebola, Kim Kardashian, and my hair extensions. So, this has been Beverly Pink Eye Witness News. Thanks for tuning in.